rather than letting things happen naturally, which clearly led towards Bernie Sanders being the candidate. And he should have been the candidate. This was the right time for Trump, and this was the right time for Bernie. When the Democratic Party decided to pick what it wanted for itself, Hillary Clinton, instead of what the country was asking for, what was right for the country, which was somebody like Bernie Sanders, because he's another candidate of change. with Hillary. Well, the reason Hillary lost is the same reason that Trump won, in my opinion, which is that, which is kind of the same reason everybody always wins. And that is that normally the, the uh, platform is, I'm going to make things better. No one ever says, I'm going to really, really, things are fucked up now, and I'm really going to fuck it up bad. <laughs> and then they win. You know, that doesn't happen. So everyone's got a platform of, of change, positive change, just making things better. But there's certain uh, candidates that really run on that platform. For example, recently here is Obama. His whole thing was hope, change, you know. Obviously he's implying change for the better. What he meant was change for the same. And that's a, a, the other problem. Candidates always run on hope and change but then it ends up being the same old shit. Obama's out now. He can't he can't stick around anymore. So Hillary's going to try to be the next um, uh, candidate or uh, president, I should say. But all that promises is more of the same. You know, everything we don't like about the unfulfilled promises, the uh, wars, continual fucking wars, selling weapons, making money on we off weapons, taxes and et cetera aren't any good. The health care system is terrible, the stupid Obamacare that they came up with is just more expensive, you know, all that crap people are fed up with, they're, they're not going to vote for Hillary. It just, there's no way anyone's going to vote for somebody, uh, who, for, no, anyone's going to vote for more of the same again. That's another thing. That, that's the problem with the violating the promise. The, the next candidate to follow you is not going to win if they're uh, supposedly uh, supporting you, supporting the same thing that was just happening. And that was Hillary's position, basically. You know, and plus, she's already got all her own baggage, being a long-term politician. You know, that been in the, in the spotlight for a long time. Everyone knows her. They're not going to suddenly say, "Oh, well, forget about all this other stuff she didn't that I, she did that I don't like." You know, you know, back in the '80s and the '90s and the whatever, right? So she was totally the wrong candidate to fight against someone like Trump, who, again, all about change. His whole thing was massive change. Everything about him was change. He even without even saying a word, he just shows up. And guess what? Well, he's not an establishment guy. He's not a career politician. So right away, that's a big plus. So right away, he's got the attention of people who want something different because he's not a career politician, which is great. In spite of all his insane insanity and, and clearly um, incompetence and racism and bigotry and, you know, everything about him is fear and insecurity. Uh terrible, you know, like the worst of humanity is what he, he is what he uses as a standard tools. That's his idea of, of basic communication, threats, bullying, you know, trying to sue the, the uh, news organizations. It's ridiculous. Uh, he always ripping people off, stealing from things, he's trying to work a scam if he can, don't pay taxes. Now this guy is going to be the, supposed to be the president, and he's figuring out how to not pay taxes while he's pointing at us and saying, "Oh, I don't have to because you're going to pay taxes because you're too stupid to get out of it." You know, thanks. That's the president. That's the fucking president. 
this guy is bad news no matter how you look at it. I'm sorry, it's not. But the thing about it, why he won, in spite of all that, is what I do agree with, the massive, huge amount of anger and frustration with the, uh, the basic government in general. I don't look at it as Republican and Democratic anymore because they both fuck up. They're both lousy. Like I said in my previous video about this, both candidates are terrible. You know, and I believe I read somewhere, heard somewhere, may or may not be true, but both these candidates are the lowest, have the lowest approval rating ever for two candidates. So that means that people actually really, really, really fucking hate these two candidates. They hate Hillary Clinton, they hate Donald Jackass Trump. But those are the two candidates we have. There's nobody else to vote for. You know, no one's going to vote for a third, fourth party. We're not there yet. And the stupid fucking media, all the news channels, CNN, and whoever uh, ends up suffering the most from uh, Trump, you know, they could have been covering other candidates. They could have been covering Bernie Sanders. They could have been covering uh, the Libertarian, the Green Party, any other party candidates. But they didn't. They chose to go with a stupid, sensationalist reality show, to make, make the run for the presidency a reality TV show, you, you know, disrespect the office so much because they're just interested in their own ratings, rather than actually doing something good for the country. You know, now they got Trump in there, in there when, it, when it was happening the night of, it starts to dawn on everybody that he's going to win. This is happening right now, you know. Um, some of the newscasters were there going, oh gosh, well, I, I, I don't know, maybe he won't be as bad now that he's, you know, the president, he's, he's the, the, the campaign's over, it won't be such a fight and a battle and whatever, and I think it was what she meant, it was a woman, and somehow, I, somehow we're just going to have to get through it, I guess, I, I guess we'll just get through it somehow, and I'm thinking, the whole time before this, months before this, a year before this, you had a chance to find someone better, Bernie Sanders or anybody else. Fuck, you know? Anybody else, just about. But they didn't. They stuck with, you know, only paying attention to either who they're supposed to pay, they were told to pay attention to, or just who they thought was going to get more ratings. It was all about their stupid fucking ratings had nothing to do with what's good for the country. The same reason the Republicans and the Democrats pick who they pick. It has nothing to do with what's good for the country. It has to do with what's good for the parties and them doing themselves favors. You know, four years ago I helped you, and now it's my turn to get help from you. And because they uh, did that, rather than letting things happen naturally, which clearly led towards Bernie Sanders being the candidate, and he should have been the candidate. This was the right time for Trump, and this was the right time for Bernie. When the Democratic Party decided to pick what it wanted for itself, Hillary Clinton, instead of what the country was asking for, what was right for the country, which was somebody like Bernie Sanders, because he's another candidate of change. He's saying, I want to change this, I want to change that. I know things don't work, and, and he's paying on. that's been his platform the whole time, changing the status quo. Bernie might be a long-standing, you know, uh, politician. He knows all the games and all the shit that's going on, too. But he also really recognizes that there's a problem, and he's saying he wants to change that thing. Now, just like all the other people, was that going to be a fulfilled promise? Who knows? We, now we may never know what his true intentions were planning on me. But at least he was understood to be a change candidate uh, like Trump and as opposed to Clinton. So the reason Hillary lost and Trump won is because the Democrats insisted on putting Hillary there. If everything you don't like about Trump being president and being voted and nominated and whatever happens now, I don't know. I guess it's up to electoral college to, to pull her ass out of the fire at this point. But I don't know really what's you know very good is going to happen if, if they do do that. But first of all, if you're upset about Trump, 
All you have to do is look at Obama and the Democratic Party, because they put Trump there. Their shenanigans, you know, rigging. The, Trump was right. For example, the election was rigged. But it was rigged back in the primaries, and it was rigged in Trump's favor. He just likes making a lot of noise because he wants to be the victim, and he's always fighting against being victimized. And, you know, I mean, he sees himself as a loser. He's obviously super, super insecure um, and thinks of himself as inferior because that's the only person who needs to brag about themselves constantly. And who the fuck, you know, gold leafs the walls of their house? Or where he lives, his penthouse. Everything about him is just like so fucking insecure. Look at me, look at me, look at me, you know? It's ridiculous. And on top of that, now this is the president? That makes me think, and whole nother vlog, by the way. I won't get into it here, but the, the psycho, psychology of the country itself must be is so pathetically beaten down all the years of getting ripped off, ripped off, and victimized, now the U.S., the populace basically starts thinking like victims. Half don't even vote. Half are saying, what's the use? The other half, they go back and forth basically every cycle between, you know, terrible and horrible, and terrible and horrible. The lesser of two evils, you know, it's still evil, but one's just a little less evil. Well, in this case, I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> To be honest, I can't tell between Hillary and, and Trump. And even if you look at the polls they were saying before the uh, actual election happened, most people couldn't decide either, which was worse. Which, you know. <laughs> saw my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious.